a massive update is finally confirmed to be coming to the museum here in rise of kingdoms and lilith has not only confirmed season two commanders but they've also confirmed buffs to existing relics that we already have here in the game as well as season of conquest commander relics in the future so today we're gonna go over everything that we know about this upcoming update i'm gonna speculate on how i think this new update is going to work within the game then we'll talk about some things that you should be doing right now to prepare for this update and then later in the video we'll go over the rest of the things coming in the update as well what's going on guys cheers this is a huge update so we had to go with the huge water bottle 64 ounces of pure h2o baby you better be staying hydrated did you drink water today now yesterday lilith sent out two absolute bombshells to everybody's inbox and unfortunately i was not home so that's why this video is late i apologize if you missed yesterday's video it was very funny go ahead and check it out but let's start with the museum to provide a better and fairer gaming experience the following updates and adjustments will be made so first they talk about the exhibits and relics corresponding to Saladin, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, Constantine the First, Edward of Woodstock, and Tamaris are gradually being added to the museum, but they also say and other commanders. So, what could and other commanders actually mean? Well, they've already listed out every single season two legendary commander here in the first part of this bullet point there are no other commanders besides season of conquest commanders we already have relics for season one they've already listed the relics for season two so other commanders must mean season of conquest commanders are going to be getting some relics now how this is going to work i'm not actually sure are they just going to release the relics in the order that the commanders came out i think that that would make sense but they could also use this as an opportunity to buff some of the commanders that really desperately need it. For example, we have commanders like Suleiman, who are a season of conquest commander, and yet this commander is absolute trash. No matter how much people try to defend Suleiman or say, oh, well, you could use him in a rally for him, it doesn't matter. Nobody's using Suleiman because he's garbage. It's that simple. The case is open and shut. So a relic for somebody like Suleiman could come into the game just as a way to boost his effectiveness and make him actually usable for those players who unfortunately did actually unlock an expertise Suleiman most of which are whales I'm pretty sure Mimi has this a commander expertise for example now the other thing that they could mean by other commanders are commanders like Wu Zetian right we actually don't have a relic for Wu Zetian in the game and they also did not mention Wu Zetian in that bullet point they only mentioned the Wheel of Fortune commanders and the Mightiest Governor commanders Wu Zetian at this point I believe you can get her from the Wheel of Fortune but originally she was the reward and I think she still is the reward for winning KVK season two which does make her a season two legendary commander so I think that a Wu Zetian relic is to be expected to be honest with you also I would love to see my boy Lubu get a relic this is a season one commander that pretty much nobody can get access to anymore but I think it would be cool to at least show some love to him although I do think that a Lubu relic is virtually impossible I don't think that they have the rights to continue to add things to dynasty warriors in the game so who knows now the next bullet point is just as big of a deal it says star level will be added to relics and raising the star level of a relic will boost its buff on the corresponding commander the max star level of relics will be progressively raised so this is huge this implies essentially uh, an infinite level of progression to the relics in the game so for example right now if you look at a commander the maximum amount of stars you can have on a commander are six and that's it if you come into the museum now if we get a star system to these relics right let's just say that I don't know when this update comes out that you can bring it from one star to six stars that could be the cap when this update comes out now my expectation for this is that they will add star levels to existing relics and also the buffs that we have right here would will probably be either the zero star or one star buffs that you would get from these relics which has huge implications for the upside of these actual buffs on these commanders now will the star level give you a linear buff to the existing attributes will it be an exponential increase in that buff or will it potentially add additional attributes to the existing relic this is yet to be seen I think all of those things are equally possible although just to provide an example for you guys let's say that we're looking at Charles Martel here and the 25 percent infantry attack and five percent infantry health is equivalent to his one star buff if we have let's say a maximum of six stars at the time of this update releasing what if we see every additional star being added provide two percent to each of these existing buffs so that would mean 
at two stars he would have 27 percent infantry attack and seven percent infantry health at three stars it would be 29 percent and nine percent infantry health and so on and so forth if what we are looking at right here is the one star buff and the maximum is six that means we have five total progressions and five times two is ten so at six stars we could see an extra 10 percent of infantry attack and infantry health which would put him at 35 percent and 15 percent respectively now again that is purely speculation we don't know what the upwards limit or cap of these stars is going to be uh it could just be you know three stars at the beginning or it could be 10 stars we have no idea but the extra part here on that mail says that the max star level of relics will progressively be raised so if this update comes out and now you can bring these relics to six stars next year they could add a seventh star or an eighth star right that's how this system appears to be set up right now and I think that this is extremely interesting because what this essentially implies is that there will you know after a certain amount of time be essentially infinite progression for some of these commanders that are already in the game which I think is really really important right because some players don't necessarily want to just constantly be chasing the meta right a lot of players cannot constantly be chasing the meta because they're restricted by things like the number of legendary commander sculptures that they have access to they're restricted to the different uh, sets of equipment that they have access to they may only have one or two really good sets and they may not have a cavalry set right if the meta right now is cavalry then they're kind of locked out of using those commanders because they're they're stuck right but this also adds a little bit of flexibility as to what commanders are meta right for example you know right now it could be argued that Harold is not very meta for open field fighting for infantry I think that he is a lot of players think that he's not but regardless you know eventually if Harold does get a relic you know perhaps at, without that relic he would not be very good but if you invest a ton of resources into him and get him all the way up to six star like the relic up to six stars perhaps that gives him a really powerful buff that puts him almost on par with some of the meta commanders now I'm not saying that these relics need to bring every commander up to meta level and I don't think that's a realistic expectation but what I do think is possible is that these relics could bring commanders like Alexander up to a level that is near meta so much so that it may actually be worth ignoring the investment in a new commander in favor of investing and going all in on a relic for a commander that you already have access to and that you've already unlocked and I think that this is really important for two reasons one for free to play players who have some of these older commanders that are expertise and they're sitting around getting dust because they're just not really that viable anymore well this can breathe some fresh air into them and yes you may have to bring Alexander the Great to uh, you know a six star relic just to make him usable again uh, but it's better than perhaps going all in on CPO Prime and then they release another infantry meta commander in the future and now CPO is outdated but he doesn't have a relic yet although Alexander the Great actually does again that's just an example I'm not saying that Alex is ever going to be better than CPO Prime everybody knows CPO Prime is superior but at this point I mean the, Lilith has essentially they've blown the doors wide open as far as what the progression for these late game uh uh, commanders can actually be and again this adds a little bit more usability to some of the original commanders that we got in the game like Charles Martel or Mehmed for example those are two very good early game commanders that are sort of starting to fall off in this season of conquest in favor of newer and better legendaries but if you can now progress that commander over and over and over again well you know hey that 20 percent of Mehmed's stats uh for for health may turn into 30 or 40 percent of stats in a year from now and hey that might actually be almost good enough to not invest in a commander like Honda or Heraclius you might just want to continue to use Mehmed and I think that's really good and the final point that I want to say about this and I know I've spoken a lot about this is that this will further allow players to use commanders that they want to use and not feel like they have to use certain commanders so for example I really like to use Alexander the Great and you know yes I have enough sculptures to invest in a new commander to replace him but what if I just really like Alexander the Great as a historical figure or I really like the design or I just like to use him as a commander or maybe he was the first commander that I expertise so I feel some sort of way about you know enjoying and using that commander he's he's my favorite let's just say you know my favorite commander now you know this you can really invest in commanders that you like and possibly make them more usable and the fact that we now have a system that could potentially make uh unviable commanders at least somewhat viable 
uh is going to be huge it might change the meta but i think it will smooth out the meta more realistically and just provide more options for players you can just use more commanders that are decent and i think that that is great they go on to say in road to revival prepare for battle and daily objectives the rewards of relic coins and exhibit coins will be adjusted so right now if you take a look at your daily objective uh, you'll see that you get some number of relic coins here and you also get some relic coins for completing your daily objectives and this is really good i'm actually just realizing that you get less relic coins for finishing your dailies than for getting just nearly the, the 20. not sure why that is the case but essentially what they're saying is they're going to rework the the rewards here to be more in line with this upcoming update now they are also changing the bundles here it's says to provide a balanced and fair gaming environment for everyone the following bundles will be removed from the game seven day coin supply exploring the past and wonders of knowledge if you already purchased it you'll still get the daily awards but you can't renew it um when I saw this I actually went in and I did shamefully unfortunately purchase the seven day coin supply I bought two of them uh and it looks like you still can renew it to this day so I'm not really sure if this was an error or whatever the case might be but what this is implying is that these current bundles are providing too many coins for this upcoming update right there's no reason why they would remove these if they only provided a little amount of coins right like let's say you know with this new update the seven day coin supply turns out to be a horrible value well they wouldn't remove it they would just keep it in the game until players stopped buying it and then they would update it right but the fact that they're removing this it, to me implies that the items in here are the the value here is just way too high right so I would say you know if you are a medium spender or a well maybe you want to buy some of these bundles and just save up those coins and and see if maybe you get a you know really good value out of them in the future however I would like to say that it's most likely that if you're a whale you probably have an excess number of these coins anyway so it is what it is but this is yet to be seen now the other thing that we don't know here is what are the currencies that are going to be used to unlock the new relics that are coming out so for season two and beyond and what currencies are going to be used to upgrade the star level of these museum relics we have no idea now my expectation is that there will be at least one new currency coming to the system which I'm not a fan of I hate the fact that we keep adding new currencies it's a huge deterrent for new players to progress in the game it's very confusing for new players and I, I mean we've already got a billion currencies in the game so the fact that they are probably going to add another one is shameful and unfortunate but I still think we'll probably be getting some use out of the regular relic coins so just in the same way as we have an epic level of star here uh, we could be getting a legendary version of the relic coins and exhibit coins basically the same image right here except maybe the color is changed and the background is changed to orange right those could be used to unlock and uh you know essentially get the season two and beyond relics and the existing uh, currency could just be used for the season one here now the other question is how are we going to upgrade these relics my expectation there is they will either continue to use the existing coins or they will add an additional currency to upgrade those I doubt that they're going to let us use some existing currency for example a lot of people have uh, excess stars hoarded up right I have a ton of these excess stars um the fact that they're adding a star level you know it does I don't think that implies that we're going to be able to use our existing stars to upgrade it uh it just doesn't seem likely to me especially considering the fact that it's Lilith we're talking about so again whether they add a legendary version of these coins or an an another entire currency has yet to be seen I would love for this to be a free-to-play friendly uh, system I expect there to be a bundle that comes for this system we already have bundles with coins but I expect there to be another one either with the new currency or with you know just better value for whales or something along those lines but I really desperately hope that the way that you upgrade these relics is going to be extremely free to play friendly because again we're talking about commanders that are mainly used by free to play players most whales have moved on from these commanders anyway and I know that you know Lilith is going to want to sell a bundle for this and so they probably will will you know lock some of this behind a paywall but I would love for them to you know incorporate perhaps some of these rewards in the Sunset Canyon where where free to play players can actually participate or perhaps the metal store the metal store is extremely outdated it is extremely antiquated and I would love for them to you know maybe replace Ethelfled with just a universal relic currency at some point once you've expertise her just remove this and just put a currency here that you can buy with a daily cap or something like that and then you can get that some number of those coins for free every single day 
I think that would be a great way to, you know, upgrade these commanders for free to play players. And, you know, my, my hope is that that will be the case because lately the most recent updates to rise of kingdoms have been extremely pay to win. Obviously we're talking about armaments and inscriptions. Even the reroll system I think is horrendous. So a nice free to play update would be, would go a really long way for the free to play community. So fingers crossed. I hope that it happens. As far as what you can be doing right now to prepare for this update coming into the game. I would say do not expertise any commanders unless you absolutely need to going into a KVK. And I would only be looking at the S and S plus tier commanders for investment right now. So we're talking about obviously CPO, Guan, Nevsky, Boudica, Sargon, Joan of Arc prime. These are all commanders that I think are safe investments right now, but beyond those, I would really hold off. If you're considering a William, I would probably hold off. If you're considering somebody like Zhang Yu, I would probably hold off. Not that these commanders aren't good. They're very good right now, but let's say, you know, Saladin's relic comes into the game and it's really, really good. You may not need a Zhang Yu primary because your Saladin is suddenly somebody that you can dust off the bench and put William behind him, just like the good old days. But now Saladin will have even more stats for whatever his relic might be. The second thing is obviously you want to start saving these coins. If you haven't already, I've been saying for months now that you should be hoarding these coins. I shouldn't have unlocked El Cid's relic. I should not have unlocked Mulan's relic. I did so just to get them done. But as you can see here, I have all these other ones that I have plenty of coins here. I can unlock a lot of these but the problem is for every one that you unlock the cost goes up so right now it's 220 if i unlock another relic then that cost will go up to 240 or 260 whatever it is i, I don't actually know but you got to be you got to be hoarding these okay if you have an opportunity to get these free to play you should be getting them you should be hoarding them and hopefully lilith will give us a new way to get value out of these coins whether it's unlocking the season two relics with these coins or upgrading your existing relics with these coins i think either of those two options would be a better use of those coins than unlocking relics for commanders that realistically you're never going to use now that could change if this star system is really good let's say you know the star system could make the footmos relic super powerful if you get it to six stars right so again we have no idea how this is going to work but regardless you should be saving these coins absolutely unless you're again you're going into kvk and you need esong's relic fine get it that's that's fine but for everything else i would say hold off all right now let's go over the rest of the things coming in this update in case you haven't seen other content creators talk about it i'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions so here we have a spring update so we're going to be getting spring holiday events which is nice okay we have blooming anew seven days of quests we have flying kites we have a surplus take in the spring breeze and redeem limited time gifts so i'm assuming some sort of either city skin or decorations or something like that no peak too high take on tough challenges for massive rewards not sure what that could be tempest clash is coming back nobody cares about that arms training it is what it is arms training lohar is is going to give you probably some number of holiday event items in search of wonders discover ancient armament and pave your path to power only open in kingdoms in season three or season of conquest so i guess this is going to be a spring related event that will give you certain armaments maybe it will be a pick one chest maybe it will be random just like it is every day they keep trying to make armaments a thing i think armaments again my my opinion is extremely negative on on armaments and and the, really the only thing that would change my opinion on armaments is essentially they'd have to just remove it from the game and just start just start over from scratch it's just such a fundamentally flawed system that i i can't get behind it at all uh zenith of power is coming back new city theme see the event calendar for a detailed schedule some events will only be available in regions where all kingdoms have existed for at least 21 days i have no idea what the zenith of power uh, skin is going to be what the buffs are going to be uh it may be universal troop health that would be huge but i really have no clue new season of conquest story siege of orleans pioneer event coming soon so pioneer event essentially means beta okay they are beta testing this season of conquest so if you sign up for it you'll gain some number of bonus rewards just for playing it typically it's only a little bit of gems and maybe a one or two commander sculptures something like that um I typically suggest do not play the pioneer event um again you are essentially beta testing a season of conquest we have done this in our kingdom it is not fun uh you don't want to be the the guinea pigs for you know an extra 200 gems right it's just not worth it but you know for some kingdoms that are bored of the existing season of conquest then go ahead and do it who cares the enemy is at the gates if orleans should fall to the english the rest of france is soon to follow the maid of france is on the march on her way to deliver orleans from its 
Herald. Kingdoms and Seed of Conquest will have the opportunity to take part in a pioneer event for the new Seed of Orleans story. In the story, you'll be able to try out the new auxiliary commander system, an all new map, and a special Siege of Orleans campaign. Auxiliary commanders, each commander can equip up to three extra auxiliary skills from three separate auxiliary commanders. So this is similar to what I imagine the Bastion system already is with support skills, although here you get three different skills this is huge and i actually love this uh, i love the bastion support skills i think that system is amazing it makes you feel like investing in some of those older commanders was worth it because now all of a sudden you gain bonus archer health because you unlocked edward of woodstock you know two years ago i think that's very cool Siege of Orleans campaign in the story your alliance or coalition is occupying the Orleans guild hall and it is not currently open to contention you can choose to start the Siege of Orleans campaign in this campaign you must defend Orleans by defending waves of incoming English troops if all defending troops are defeated or the Orleans guild hall is captured the campaign will be failed in this new Lost Kingdom map you'll be a warrior of France from one of six different regions helping Joan of Arc defend Orleans from the English but also fighting each other for control over this city so this looks like a sort of king of the hill type of uh kvk not sure how this is going to play out but i am interested nonetheless improvements to season of conquest museum improvements ability to upgrade relics we talked about this already adjusted the effect of the aggression spiked armor safe return teamwork and the great destroyer strategies in king of the nile story i have not played that yet so i don't know how that's going to be intercoalition diplomacy is now enabled for all lost kingdoms in season of conquest so forming unions is a thing this is going to be really really good for uh not hitting your allies okay um optimized the rules for autark testimonies and autark rewards added new legendary autark testimonies legendary autark testimonies can be awarded to any coalition in the camp not just your own that's cool the number of autark testimonies you can award depends on the story reduce the number of autark testimonies you can reward award to your own camps coalitions from 300 to 240. i have also not experienced this system yet um they i think introduced this system midway through the my last kvk that we were already a part of so we never got to see this your camp no longer needs to control your crusader fortress for you to receive an autark reward so you can still trade crusader fortresses that's good i suppose armament and state form improvements added the transmute feature you can now use transmutation stones to transmute your armaments which will randomize their attributes another currency let's go boys you're probably gonna have to buy this with money so again essentially what this is is just another roulette wheel we're just gambling once again okay you don't like the attributes you can't change them to what you want them to but you can gamble it once again absolutely brain dead change here I guess it will be good if you get something good from this but again it's random and I just don't understand how Lilith doesn't realize that the problem is the randomness we don't want to randomize we want to know what we get okay this is why people like the museum and they hate the armament system because we want to know what we're working towards again absolutely for iq update here this will change nothing if you don't like the random attributes you got great news you can randomize them again like who gives a f it's random nobody wants randomness okay we want to know what we're getting so throw this update in the trash with this 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 bullet point here go back to the drawing board it's not going to fix the problem improved the travel feature you can now skip certain animations thank god that is huge i'm so sick of those animations optimize the display of armaments in your inventory you can now sort your armaments by date received okay that's fine optimize the order in which armament attributes are displayed okay sure other improvements optimized how your city is teleported after you drop to zero wall durability in a standard kingdom you will be teleported to one of the outer provinces okay that's good in the lost kingdom your city will be teleported to your camp or kingdom starting province this is actually huge because what this means is if one of your whales is going to get like zeroed uh maybe you could just zero them yourself take all the resources and then they go back into safety <laughs> i don't know optimize the zenith of power event optimize visuals and if you immigrate it resets your leaded for data okay optimize the daily special offer bundle after purchasing the bundle you can directly open the treasure in the bundle purchase interface cool <laughs> optimize battle reports if one of your troops battle reports is merged with another troops battle report the data of those two reports will also be merged I think that's going to be very good for clarity this is a very good change reports of battles between your troops and other governor troops will also show kill point data that's also very good added the ability to replace rally troops with this feature you can replace your troops in another governor's army rally without having to exit the rallied army that is massive there's been so many times where I'm trying to reinforce and you have to time it with removing your army and then you can't get in. It's super annoying. So refreshing troops and rallies is going to be easier now. I love that. Optimized troop dispatch. When dispatching troops, you can now get unit recommendations. Okay. Nobody needed that. But if you're a new player, maybe you did. 
optimized arc of osiris event previously you had several wounded uh you'd be unable to enter arc now you'll be able to enter but you will not be able to dispatch or start healing severely wounded units while you're in the arc of osiris battlefield okay great scouts on the map will no longer block when selecting a location for alliance buildings or teleporting your city this is huge especially in kvk scouts were always in the way so i'm super happy about that added new troop markers to help you mark specific troops okay i guess that's good um i imagine it's going to be like an alliance marker except they can mark a specific unit which if you're planning on dropping an alliance skill for example i think that that would be very good optimized highlight select target in settings if the feature enabled when an enemy troop is selected during marching its uh, avatar will be highlighted this is extremely good sometimes it's extremely hard to see what's going on in a big murder ball so that's very good added legendary engineering and gathering equipment which can be found in the blacksmith once the game is updated new blueprints also coming soon nobody cares about that uh that's not true i guess some whales care about that but um new legendary gathering equipment i mean they probably heard my my um i did a live stream where i talked about that it's actually useless to have legendary uh bones there's literally if you look through the the equipment right now there's nothing you can do with legendary bones there's no piece of equipment that you can forge with these so they probably were like wait a minute holy shit, seriously <laughs> uh and now they're gonna give us a, a you know a gathering set i guess a legendary gathering set that we can use them on um so snaps is going to be excited about that but honestly nobody really cares about legendary gathering equipment all right guys that's going to do it for this video this video was longer than i thought it would be i'm excited for the updates to the museum i'm not excited for the updates to the armament system so hey it is what it is let me know in your uh, thoughts in the comment section below while you're down there drop a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace